ubiquitous. Ubiquitous means ubiquitous. All, all over. Everywhere. All of the everywhere? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have the couple now, and I want to be able to ask them how was their experience. And uh, we actually have a very heavy topic for today. Heavy ho kasi, uh, hindi naman husa ng huhusga, pero binanggit ko na yung word na husga. Pero gusto ho sana natin isipin na sana may mga bagay-bagay na uh, iisipin natin bago natin gawin. Lalo na kapag, ka, I think meron, niya, meron ba sa, ano, sa Ten Commandments yung ano, na kapag ka may nilabas kang chismis? That's, uh, I think, the Eighth Commandment. Eighth Commandment. Okay. Hindi naman sa nag... <laughs> magtatawag na ako ng pari nito. Pero okay, let's start first with uh, a ano little muna bit... Ano yung Eighth Light Commandment? Muna. What is the Eighth Commandment, Carlo? <laughs> Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Okay. okay. False oh, witness. Bigat, no? O bago tayo mga lambat ng ating kapitbahay, <laughs> <laughs> gusto ko muna tanongin si Sandy. Sandy... How was your Saturday with uh, what's his name Carlo Dennis? What's his name? Who? The guy you were with last Saturday? JC. 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 We miss you, JC. And I, uh, every time I think about you, I want to be very careful with how I say things the American way. <laughs> <laughs> with all those uh, things you taught us in F1. Uh oh. So, uh, Sandy. Ano ba sa tingin mo ang tamang paraan ng pagsalita pagka tayo ay nagsasalita ng English? Dapat ba nating sundan ang the British way or the American way of speaking in English? I don't think there's a right or wrong accent with regards to American versus British. Okay. Uh, Carlo, can I borrow the earphones for Sandy so she can hear herself? No, no, no. Okay. I know the other one. I want to share. Ang sweet share. naman. Share daw. <laughs> yung magkaano. Okay. So while they're trying to share the earphones, ang tangiinggit dito yung couple beside me. Hindi <laughs> naman. So, para clear. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. Now we're good. So, uh, Sandy, uh, when you, when you were telling us that there's no right or wrong way, the assumption way is also a right way, and the St. <laughs> Paul's way is also the right way, which is really the right way. The Ang tamang way. daan. Ano ba tamang daan? <laughs> Siyempre yung matuwid. <laughs> <laughs> teka, sandali. Saan ba papunta yung tuwid mo? Wait, sorry. <laughs> oh, teka, sorry. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Sandy, yung ano ha, yung topic ha. <laughs> Ang hirap pag si Sandy kasama ko dito talagang gagawin. <laughs> Hindi. Hindi naman. Okay. <laughs> Hindi. Sandy, ano ba yung right way talaga? Kasi yung mga nakikinig sa atin, yung mga iba kabataan din, tsaka yung mga iba na sanay naman talagang mag-English the Filipino way. Yung sabi nga nung tiyahin ko doon sa anak niyang uh, pinalaki niya sa Amerika. Yung tiyahin ko, nakatrabaho sa World Bank, tsaka yung asawa niya. Yung mga anak nila lahat na educate na yan sa Amerika ha. And sabi nung tiyahin ko, minsan bumaba yung anak niyang babae sa hagdan na nandun ako sa Virginia, nakatira sa kanila. Tapos nagsasagot yung bata. Tapos uh, sabi nung tiyahin ko, do not like that like that me, ha? I do not like that like that you. So, <laughs> hindi ko alam. <laughs> Ang ipig pala niya sabihin, huwag mo akong ginaganyan, no. kasi hindi kita ginaganyan. <laughs> okay? No, walang tayo ng points. <laughs> okay, so, alam ko, pag ako nags, na, kinakausap ko yung mga anak ko, ganyan din ang tingin nila sa akin. Mali, mali ang aking pagkasabi ng mga bagay-bagay. So, ano ba talaga ang dapat nating gabay? Wala naman yatang ano nga, yung sa accent. Hmm. Hindi naman talaga um, strictly either American or British yan. Hmm. As long as we say it correctly. Diba? Like, for example, yung V, dapat V, yung pagkasabi. V, hindi pa. <laughs> Or B. Happy, diba? Ay, ba, ba, pala yun. Ha? Happy Valentine's. <laughs> okay. Ganun okay, po. Fine. So, kanyari, ah, pag, pagka nagka-count po yung mga bata, make a conscious effort po na, kanyari, one, two, three, instead of one, two, three, diba? <laughs> okay. Nawawala yung H. Uh -oh. Ganun. So, iba na yung meaning, diba? Uh -oh. Puno na yung three, uh -oh. kesa sa three. Oh, ito na, ito na. Ito na ang tanong ko. Mm -mm. Eh, pagka nag ako ng reunion sa Harvard Alumni Association, it's Harvard. Hindi siya Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko nga. 
Pero sa Harvard Street, just sa Wakwa, Harvard ang tawag nalang. <laughs> sa Harvard po tayo. <laughs> Papasok ka ng Wakwa, pero pagka nasa Amerika, it's Harvard. Like in Arthur. Arthur. Uh, harder. Harder. <laughs> <Hindi> harder. <laughs> si Diego kasi. <laughs> Oo. So may mga rules, di ba, na binigay si... Uh, What's his name? JC. <laughs> si JC. I think there was a lot of uh, set of rules that he was giving out and teaching us. And I think you'll be handling that on Saturday, right? Just some. We'll be discussing Just some, some um, commonly misused words. Mm -mm. Um, JC won't be here on Saturday because he'll be in China. But um, I've invited Vaughn, um, SPED um, specialist okay. for special education. So, uh -huh. siya yung guest ko sa Saturday. So, ah, actually, okay. guest, semi co-host then okay so yun so kami yung mag-uusap about special education inclusion and diversity in the classroom oh wow mm -mm. that it homogeneous lahat yan eh <laughs> teacher me you students listen di ba ganyan dati eh and i think we all learned that way did you uh, you know did you learn that way yeah in the beginning i was in a traditional school assumption and okay. then um, I transferred to uh, Montessori school later yes. on. And um, I personally found myself in a smaller Montessori classroom and environment. That's why I'm a big advocacy of Montessori. Okay. So I I if we try to sum it up generally, I'd like to think that uh, there are already, we are already bending our uh, ways of teaching people and children because we have accepted the fact that there are many different kinds of people. Yan ang katotohanan. Correct? Yeah, definitely. Different uh, learning styles. Yes. No? All kids learn in different paces as well. So, I think it's more recognized now as compared to before. So, kung po yung mga anak ninyo ay hindi po nag-fit dun sa more traditional setting, kung feeling po ninyo ay hindi po sila nag-learn <laughs> Um, in the same pace. <laughs> Card, not take uh, over. Um, uh, may nahulog kaya na distract yung host natin <laughs> sa kayong guest. Nahulog so, po. <laughs> nahulog po si Melissa. Uh, so, nag -take, yung nag-take over, natatawa rin eh. So, paano ngayon yan? <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, where did this stop, Sandy? Doon nga sa... Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, Sandy, again, I will ask the same question. I think we've been bending our uh, bending backwards to meet up with the different kinds of uh, children that we are accepting, who are not uh, unique. I mean, who are very unique in uh, so many ways. Each culture has a different uh, set of children growing up in that particular community, and um, some people learn faster. Some people. Uh, don't learn as fast as these uh, kids, right? So I think what's uh, important in yes. the education system now is that um, um, the teachers and the school are supportive yeah. of the individual's um, ability and pacing with regards to absorbing knowledge. Because at the end of the day, it's about knowledge. Skill can always be acquired all throughout your life. So so does knowledge, no? But parang for kids. Mm, if, kunyari, uh, you ask them about a certain, kung history man yan, and you ask them about the history of um, whether it be a war or whether it be um, politics, if they understand the essence of it and it's clear to them, then knowledge is there, di ba? Okay. Some kids kasi are just not good at memorizing dates, 
memorizing the names of the generals or the presidents, etc. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> there's quite a lot. Yeah. Um, so we, um, in a But I have a coping ability, you know. I always try to earmark a specific topic to a to an experience in my life. That's how I do it. No? So I have, a, I, I have a devised a way for myself to be able to remember things because I'm not that good in remembering. It's yeah. like my, my, I, have a, uh, I have a classmate who is so good in math, see Anna Zosa. She's one of our, uh, you know, she's really good in math. And do you know that each, each um, formula for her has a story? Mm. That the formula is a story and each of the, those X's and Y's are people and ganun siya, may, may relationship yeah. sila lahat. Ganun mm. naman yung kanyang way of Style. understanding things. So, how do you think that we can come up? I mean, it's, it, it, it's only because that, um, you know, I think I was uh, fast enough to know my, my capabilities and my shortcomings. And I devised a way to be able to cope up with uh, learning. But for those who have not accepted uh, their, I cannot say disability, but I would like to say that, uh, or inability, but they have a different way of understanding things. Is that what SPED is about? Please explain to me more. You don't have to be considered um, a special ed student to be different, di ba? Um, sometimes lang kasi, uh, you have to rule out, for example, family, family, uh, let's say, situations. Sometimes mm -hmm. kids are distracted because nag yung parents nila, for example. Okay. Or may financial problem pala. Diba? And it's causing so much um, parang attention uh, that the child cannot concentrate. So sometimes periods lang yon. So kailangan mo yun i-isolate. Rule out. Yes. Oo, i-isolate at i-rule out before you can say possible learning disability or possible... Genes. Yeah, or whatever. Diba? You think genes play a part? Definitely, yes. There are already studies that say that um, conditions such as, let's say, ADHD, for example, is definitely passed down. So it's normally in the family, Teresa. Would you, would you say that um, financial capability of a child either hardens the child to be able to want to aim for more or uh, gives a child a liability feeling that uh, they have to be in that particular sector? Mm, I think nasa personality na lang yun ng bata. Okay. That okay. is how, how is that developed? Is that part of the educational system? For a, pe for a teacher who's with a child more than a parent is, isn't it the ro role of the teacher to be able to hone the child to have a very good personality? Um, well, I, I think it would be a little unfair to give the whole job of raising the child to the teacher because a lot of influence still comes from the home because that is where they identify themselves. There are some kids naman that um, are really um, hurting, di ba? And then they identify more with the school or their teacher. And once the teacher is able to parang, uh, recognize this in a specific child, it is our duty as teachers to um, nurture the child because he or she doesn't get that kind of love or attention at home, knowing the situation. Uh. Because some kids don't say anything, they don't want to say anything, they don't share it in school. Na yun palang problem until mag PTC na kayo, tas si mommy or si yung daddy grade, na. Yung grade, Oo, si mommy or si daddy na magsasabi. Yung na magulang, oh. Oo, oh. ganun. Or sometimes even the parents, they don't admit to the school na. They have nag, a problem in the house. Yes, na naghiwalay na pala sila, two months na. Oh. Tapos when lumabas yun, Mako-correlate mo na kaya pala nagme-misbehave si gantong student in the last how many weeks kasi nga unstable yung house. I mean, so, is that is that a I mean, is that a good uh, reason for a child to use if for example, the child is not doing so well in his academics? It's not a good reason, but we have to be understanding with regards to what the child is going through. And this is um a good um time to introduce counselors or um therapists or at least um, give a suggestion to the parents na baka naman po pwedeng um, mag-seek tayo ng professional help outside the school system. So sometimes you suggest that? Yes. Okay. Yes, we suggest that. You know, I, I'm not gonna grill Sandy more because you're gonna get a lot of Sandy for every Saturdays of your uh, next few months yeah. and, uh, and and I, and I like the way that uh, Sandy has come from traditional education and even for um, 
II system from assumption. So she has the traditional, she has experienced the II system and uh, she specializes in the Montessori way. And I've sent my kids to Montessori school, so I kind of like the system. That's why I, I sent them to the, uh, the Montessori schools also. And uh, because I found it a little bit um, slow for somebody to, to pace your own self. And sometimes some children just needs a little bit of more nudging. So traditional schooling uh, is okay. And um, are, is the, would there be a time where you were going to be discussing even the homeschooling? Yes, definitely. That's part of our lineup. Because homeschooling is a big um, thing now. And uh, we cannot negate the fact that a lot of parents have chosen to uh, teach their children at home. If the, the, if the parent herself did not finish high school, is that advisable to be the, what do you call the person who teaches in the house pag homeschooling? <laughs> Proctor? No? Teacher? Teacher pa rin. Teacher pa rin. Teacher pa rin. So, yeah. is that? Actually, um, I am not an expert on homeschooling. Okay. I have a few friends that have opted to remove their kids from the traditional going to school set up and have decided to homeschool their kids okay. so um i think that we can discuss that later Ayan. on yeah yeah na yung mga nag homeschooling na mga bata pakinggan niyo kami because sandy will uh, sandy will be bringing in the experts on what their advice is when it comes to homeschooling mm -hmm. and so on now uh yeah 26 i'll give sandy four more minutes and then uh, <laughs> Carlo will be our star in the next 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Sandy, uh, what is your takeaway for the listeners here when it comes to your program? Uh, please promote it and then uh, tell us who your next guest would be and uh, uh, on what range of topics you'll probably be dealing with in the next few months. Okay. Um Mga listeners po ng DZME, magandang gabi. Ako po si Sandy at ako po yung bagong host ng The Learner Circle every Saturday 6 to 7 p.m. Ang mga topics po na tatalakayin natin sa The Learner Circle is yung mga topics po na all surrounding the child. Kaya po namin tinawag na The Learner Circle. Kasi po, uh, we look at the learner as yung middle po ng um, lahat ng tao na parang helping the child learn. So, who are the people around, who are the circle of people around the child, di ba? Nandiyan po yung, syempre po, si mommy, si daddy, si yaya, uh, yung mga doktor, mga therapists, no? kasama dyan yung mga tutor. Yaya? <clears throat> kasama din si yaya, kasi now yayas really play a big part of yeah. uh, raising our children. So, there are a lot of programs po na pwede niyo pong enrollan si yaya para po mabigyan din po sila ng more knowledge about uh, how to raise your child better at kung ano po yung okay sa inyo. Diba? So, yun po yung learner circle. So, lahat po yan, uh, natakal po natin yung K-12, to yung senior high school last Saturday. This Saturday naman po is inclusion and uh, special education. Tapos, uh, marami pa po. So, pwede po kayong tumawag at magsulat sulat po sa amin kung meron po kayong mga gustong talakayin, at pwede po nating i-take up yun in the next few weeks. Okay, salamat, Sandy. Thank you. Sandy here has a better half. <laughs> Tama ba yun? <laughs> so, yeah. Sandy's better half, Carlo here, is uh, taking over the 7 to 8 p.m. of the Saturdays of your life. And I hope you get to listen to him because he has been handling um, the topic of uh, the blogging today. Okay? Correct? Blogging today, right? That's Blogging the English ngayon. translation. <laughs> and then what was it supposed to be? Blogging ngayon. Blogging ngayon or blogging today. As I... Blogging now. Yeah. So nag-iisip pala ako in English. <laughs> Kasi English ang lumabas. <laughs> ano yan? Regular English lang yung akin. <laughs> akin din. Regular English. When you blog, do you blog in English? Both. So do you combine? I use Tagli sometimes to, for emphasis. For emphasis, yeah. would you believe, uh, would you like, uh, gusto mo bang, ma okay, ano ba ang, uh, as a blogger, Carlo, I, I saw how, how you blog, and um, I've seen how people react to them, and I see that you, you touch them in, in a very different way. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> te, te, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. But I mean, 
Uh, so na- napipisil mo yung mga gusto nilang madinig. And uh, nagkakaroon ng meeting of the minds sa mga taong nagbabasa ng mga blogs mo. And how do you how do you think about it in a way that when you blog, kapag ikaw ba'y nagsusulat, iniisip mo ba yung kaagad yung magbabasa o iniisip mo yung sarili mong gustong sabi, yung gusto mo lang sabihin nang nanggagaling sa iyo? Ano ba ang pinaghuhugutan mo, Carlo De Leon? Unang-una, it starts with the topic. It's an issue that either I am for it or against it. Or kung wala akong side, I'd rather not talk about it. Kasi wala, walang conviction eh. Now, if I'm for it, I I think of the, the, the rational side, the, the cerebral side. And combined with some emotion to make it more catchy. So, yun yung mga gusto kong i-target ang mga reactions. But you really feel it, right? I feel it. That's why. Um, it's, it's a consequence of your interaction with your uh, followers. They, they make mention of some terms and some, 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 call, some reactions that strengthen and support your views. So, it accumulates um, through the blogging process and it becomes an item of your next blog. Oh. So, bale may parang feedback mechanism eh. For example, I blogged about uh, you, um, selective outrage of um, the Commission on Human Rights. Their, 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 their outrage is selected towards uh, police who have killed young teenagers during drug encounters. Yung sa hazing. <laughs> <laughs> Ginatungan pa yun. Okay. So, yung mga ganon. So, um, nakakainis yun because it's selective. And I know uh, for a fact that human rights are universal and applicable to all. So, I titled my 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 blog as Selective Outrage and I indicated why uh, are the are the detractors of uh, Duterte using the three new poster boys uh, K- Kian, Carl, Carl Arnais and uh, De Guzman, I forgot his first name um, Ginagawang poster boy as, as um, <coughs> parang to, to use them as a device so they, do you feel that they were chosen in terms of their impactability Yes, they were chosen because they are teenagers, they have a bright future ahead, and uh, their life was cut short because of a police encounter, which uh, was alleged to be uh, done without the proper Okay, so kung wala kayong credentials na ganyan, at yung medyo panda kayo mataba at maitim, hindi nila kayo papansinin, kaya hindi nila kayo susuportan. <laughs> kaya... Tignan nyo mabuti yan. Okay. Yung mga babae na nare hindi rin lang kayo type. Okay. So, sorry, ah, Carlo. I just had to say it. No? So, yung mga teenagers na yun, ginawang, ginawang uh, device, ginawang uh, subject of uh, an issue which was, which was, which was uh, artificial in nature kasi tatlo lang naman yan eh. Pero pinili sila kasi magandang, magandang example. And the purpose of that blog is to illustrate that it's selective. Dapat yung Commission on Human Rights should highlight every single, every single human rights violation. Yes. Not focus on what appeals to the visuals. The visuals, you know, mga clickbait and Uh-oh. like ap- yung sound bites ng pangalan Kian, you know, a yeah. millennial, right? Mm-hmm. Elite. Fourteen-year-old teenager. Yeah. You know, mga, mga ganon. Uh, ano naman yung mga bata? Sabi ko nga sa'yo, kung panda ka, maitim ka, tsaka mamilog-milog ka, hindi ka pagtatanggol ng CHR. Hindi yan makamasa. <laughs> Oo. Hindi, kasi madami mga bata. Hindi lang limited doon. It, it's confined uh, to... That's why I understand why they were given a 1,000 peso budget. 
Um, it's, ah, okay. I read their mandate. It's, qu- yeah. it's quite long. And yeah. pa- part of that is to watch the government officials. That's part only of that. Part, only part about mm-hmm. 10 other, other fu- uh, mm. functions of the CHR. So the, the other... How much, is the, well, how much was the budget they were asking for? 800? 600 million? 600 plus, I think. Wow! 600 plus million. Ilang mabibiling gatas nun? Ilang bahay magagawa nun? At ilang libro ang mapaprint out nun? <laughs> marami. Marami. Um, Hindi naman yung... Okay, fine. <laughs> so, yun yung nakakainis because it's a, consti- well, it's a constitutional... What do you call it? Body? Body, yeah. Uh, that should be it's serving under, ser- yes. serving the entire nation. I mean, all Filipinos. Yes. Diba part po ng mandate oh, nila? No, part that's under the office nila. of the president actually. Because the, okay, the, okay, this is how you look at it. Ang source ng funds niya is from the office of the president, mm-hmm. redirected by an executive order. When they created, when an executive order was made during the time of Cory to create the commission. So it was presidential human rights Commission, and then it became the Commission on Human Rights. But the money is coming from the office of the president. So at the end of the day, <laughs> he has a right to say, "Piso lang yung bibigyan niya one thousand." So the head serves under the pleasure of the of president. the president. Yes, okay. I read about that. Yes, but I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know if it's. Uh, Actually, we take it also up in the public administration because we have to be very <coughs> keen on the sources of funds. So, generally, kung ano man yung pinag-iisipan ninyong changes na gusto ninyo mangyari sa, ano, sa gobyerno, ang unang yung tatanungin ho sa lahat is, anong pondo ba ng gobyerno ang sumasagot sa inyong problema? Okay? And then, titignan nyo kung saan bumabagsak yung pondo yung aling department. Ganun yun eh. Kasi marami na pong mga... Marami na pong mga uh, pondo ang mandato niya dumadaan sa OP ganyan or dumadaan siya sa sa Cultural Center of the Philippines kunyari CCP has 800 million budget hindi ko alam saan lang ginagastos yun eh alam mo bi- <laughs> ilan lang mga bata nakikita kung nakikinabang diyan sa CCP po I mean binebenta naman ng ticket so I don't know why they're in how can they not be independent no Di ba director ka doon Director ako doon, ang problema ko lang naman kasi doon, the current president of CCP, si Mr. Lizazo, am I correct? Yes. As elected by the board, uh, you know, he does not brief uh, all the board of directors. Kung mga, dinadaan lang nila sa board kung kunyari yung budget, 500,000 pesos and above. Tsaka lang nila ipapakita sa board of directors. Yung huling, yung huling board meeting, hindi ako nakapag-attend, eh, may hinahabol sa akin na uh, pinapapirmahan na budget. Nung hiningi ko yung attachment, eh hindi binigay. Nagnananak na ako ng bibig ko doon sa uh, ang pangalan nun, yung isang ano nila doon, isang admin staff, sabi sa akin, hindi na raw nila binigay yung attachment na para makita ko kung ano yung pinipirmahan ko. <laughs> diba? Mm. Pare, t- kailangan ko naman tignan, diba? And then, sabi niya kasi matagal daw. Sabi ko, hindi. In-email ko sa inyo kagad, ibigay niya sa akin yung attachment para mapirmahan ko yan. Kasi ang sabi sa akin, lahat daw pumirma. Eh, sabi ko, ipakita niya attachment, di ba? O, ganyan sila. Tinatago nila sa board generally yung ano. But, hiningi mo? Hiningi ko. Did they give it? Ah, uh, hindi. Kasi daw, tapos naman na eh. Pinasa na. Ito maganda. Hiningi ko after. Sabi ko, whether na ipasa yan or hindi, ibigay niyo pa rin sa akin at gusto kong makita. Ang sabi sa akin, eh ano ho eh, nasa isang Excel, hindi ho pwedeng ibigay. Yan ang sagot sa akin. In fact, I have it in SMS. <laughs> Gigigil ako. <laughs> Lapit ko ng kasuhan. Di print yung, yung, yung Excel o oh, email sa'yo. Hindi, mag-a-attend ako niyan. Eh, nagdanaknak nga si Mr. Lizazo kay, ano, doon sa mga taga-DTI na I'm uh, ano, a miss of my duties. Paano ko mag-a miss of my duties? You have to have four straight absences from the board to be a miss of your duties. Eh, yung ibang board members, a miss talagang ilang, ano na, hindi pumapasok. Pero, you know, they're selective. So, I don't know yet. Pero mag-attend ako doon. And That's I'm gonna... probably the biggest challenge that our current administration yeah, is I know. My gosh. Um, fighting against. No? Kasi parang may mga ibang tao na matitigas pa rin yung ulo na iniisip pa rin siguro nila yung sarili nila instead of yung kapakanan ng bayan. So, actually, I was, I was asking the guy. You're going against the grain, actually. Kasi actually, I was asking the guy, bakit, hindi mo, bakit mo pinas yan na walang pirma ko? Sabi niya, yun daw inutos nung chairman ng, of the board. Forgot who her name is, eh. That, that lady. Uh, yun. Anyways, <laughs> let's see. 
Okay. Let's see. <laughs> eh, ano eh, baka private kitty nila yon. Hindi ko alam eh. Let's see. If so, uh, they'll, ano. I'll ask for it officially, write them a letter, and then I'll, I'll hope that they'll, uh, ano. I will question that. I really question that. <laughs> Ako pa. <laughs> okay, let's go back, Mr. Blogger. Yung, yung uh, <laughs> pinag-usapan na yes. earlier. Um, bloggers are not created equal. Yes. Okay. okay. Yan talagang pupuntahin namin ni Carlo. All bloggers uh, are either, I mean, I, there's one blogger I know very well, Cecil Zamora, but that's a very bright lady. And, uh, and talagang yung pinaghuhugutan niya ng mga uh, articles niya are things about her life that she experiences. So malinaw. Malinaw yung uh, that she's not a political blogger. Uh, she might uh, talk about some troubles, lifestyle. but it's her. T- she's a lifestyle, lifestyle blogger. blogger. Yeah. Marami kasing bloggers. Eh, ma- food, lifestyle, yes. fashion, yes. politics, yes. religion, yes. society, whatever. Yung religious, hindi pa ako nakabasa ng ganyan. Parang I refuse to read it yata. <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Kasi parang makikipagtalo ako pag yan ang topic. Hindi, <laughs> meron may, ano, religion in the context of, for example, si Carlo also blogs about, di ba? Yung oh, religion. you do? Hindi, do, well, do. I, I in context of politics. Oh, okay. Kasi uh, yan yung favorite Is it an overlapping thing for you? Um, do you feel... No, I, I, I strongly feel that uh, many church leaders are meddling in politics and it does not do good to the uh, flock of the church because many ah. members of the Catholic faith are supportive of uh, this government. Yes. So, tuwing may mga pastoral letter na, na pinapabasa after Mass or okay. during Mass, um, many... Uh, who go to mass are are turned off by by, by who that. writes the pastoral letter, Carlo? A bishop can write a pastoral letter. Okay. No. Or a cardinal or the pope. Yes. Is that a pastoral letter? A uh, bishop above. Okay. Pastoral letter, yeah. Um, what usually comprises a pastoral letter? It's supposed to give you guidance on what to do. On every day. I mean, every ano. Pag Sunday. may pag may issue. Pag may issue. Pag may issue. Affecting the flock. Affecting the flock, for example, uh, death penalty was a pastoral letter uh, written by Archbishop Soc Villegas of uh, Bishop of Lingayen. Yan, ililiwana ko lang yung this my opportunity. No? Okay, please go ahead. Um, the CBCP is not technically the leader of the Philippine Church. They are just. They are a collegial body of bishops um, who happen to be, whose, whose members happen to be... Um, the bishops of the Philippines. Bishops and even priests are members of CBCP. You don't have to be... Does a every country have a... The a- same? America has their version. Okay. Um, um, mission nila is very good. It's a po- apostolate of public opinion. Meaning, kung anong tip nilaturo ng Vatican, ng Pope, dapat i-disseminate nila sa mga flock ng Pilipinas. So, yan yung mandato nila. Uh, which is very clear. Now, as part of that, it could be argued that uh, certain political uh, happenings, issues, affect uh, the faith, the faithful. Like, uh, recently, the et- extrajudicial killings and a few years ago, it was the uh, RH bill. Sa akin, uh, sa akin tingin, ang, ang, ang effective na, na communication and social communication people nila is just to stick to matters of faith and morals. Ah, okay. Just, just teach the, <clears throat> the, the, the flock, okay, this, this is what, this what our, our religion te- teaches. Mm-hmm. And then, guide them. But don't be specific na Itong, itong kandidato, huwag mo putuhin. Ito, 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 okay ito. Guide, guidance lang dapat. Because... Do we it, have that in the Catholic Church? I mean, do they really say who to vote? No, no. There's no such thing as a Catholic vote. It's a yeah. prayer. Because um, it's, it's our in, uh, inalienable... In, 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 innate? In us? In inalienable right to... In, in inalienable right. To... Na, na, na What's that na? word? In inalienable... <laughs> <laughs> Basta nabasa ko lang yun. Ano, uh, ano natin yun? Kasi it's diba, yung inherent Catholic, right. 
Yeah, it's yung, our inherent right yung Catholic to freedom Church freedom of uh, yeah. political belief. Ah. So even though you're a priest, yeah, you're not you you, you 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 your bishop cannot tell you you should follow this political leader, and you should not follow this other political leader for for whatever reason, because that's that's a temporal matter. In temporal matter meaning worldly. Pag worldly. Ah, worldly. Hindi, pag worldly, hindi, hindi, hindi kasama yan. They operate uh, as according to Father, uh, Father Joseph de Torre, who's a political philosopher and Catholic priest. Because the church operates on a different level. What level is that? Uh, it's spiritual. So, okay. hindi sila magaling sa temporal matters. Kaya Which is masya- worldly matters. That's, that's why uh, sabi ni Saint uh, ni Pope, Pope Francis uh, the best way to meddle for a Catholic to meddle into politics is to allow those who govern to govern. Pabayaan lang sila. Okay. And even better is prayer. Pagdadasal so, ko na lang kayo, ganon. Uh, it, sinasabi niya, kung talagang, kung talagang uh, faithful kayo and you believe in God and you believe uh, that 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 uh, he will solve everything di pagdasal kayo magtrust ka magtrust ka let so, it happen faith. so it, faith kumo kontra sa ano eh I, I i will i will sa doctrina i will i will i will pray uh-uh. at the same time i will r- walk in the streets <laughs> So, di ba? Ganun yan eh. And, Pag-rally kami. Oh, di ba? Okay lang kung... Oh. kung Prayer rally. No, okay What? lang kung malay katulad namin. That's our job. That's our job. The, the, the church militant tawag nila. Okay. Yung church militant, ang duty talaga nila sing lumalaban for the church's okay. uh, um, uh, advocacies. Um, yung mga, mga priest and mm. the, the, the clergy are the parang support group. Mm-hmm. Binibigyan ng guidance. So, okay. the teachings of the church, doctrine, catechism, Bible, and, and all, yun yung binibigyan ng guidance para gawin na mabuti ng lay ang trabaho nila. Okay. Which is pastoral work. Okay. Ang balik, baliktad na nangyayari. Oo. Sila yung, tuma- sila yung humaharap Uh-oh. sa sa public. Mm-mm. Which I find uh, a turn off. Okay. Um, I wrote about this um, er, around, What, were, what around. were your advice, Carlo, when you wrote about this? Was there a call to action on your part? Kasi, uh, there's a call to action to address to the the leaders of the church. To stop it. Stop meddling. Fo- yeah, stop meddling is one. But aside, aside from stop meddling, focus on um, focus on the people, the, the flock, and teaching them continue to teach uh, matters of faith and morals dun kasi if uh, the, if they if the priest just uh, if the priest just uh, fulfill the demands of their vocation punong puno yung schedule nila but, wala silang panahon mag rally wala silang panahon mag running priest wala silang panahon sa kahit ano so what do you think were the portions of their commitment to the faith that they have been amiss with in lieu of doing all this uh, political meddling? Well, in, naging, in my observation, maraming pari na naging social priest. Social priest. Uh, they attend functions, the parties. parties which not, it's not the demands of their vocation. Okay. Because they're supposed to administer sacraments. Okay. Uh, con- mass, communion, binyag, uh, compil, lahat yun. So we have a shortage of priests already. Then some some provinces, some priests only c- come to their village when once there's a, a mass. Once a month. Once so may a month. Mass uh, baptism, mass uh, kumpil, mass wedding. So kawawa naman. So it's hard because continuing vocation sa 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 Pilipinas is very hard for to convince you, for example, uh, you, uh, some people to become priests. I think. You know, my ex-husband wanted to become a priest, and I said no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, by fulfilling lang the demands of uh, priesthood, busy, busy na sila. That's Dapat, why, uh-oh. when I see them in the streets, the uh, whole day, the whole e, day, 
Maki baka. Unang una, okay. kailangan sila magbigay ng misa. Okay. Ma- mandated. They're supposed to read the breviary, okay. which is a book of prayers. Okay. And they have to do the spiritual reading. Okay. They have to hear confessions. Okay. Okay. Yun na lang. Men, manaya pang iba. Ah. Okay. They have to study pa. Uh, do you see them doing that? Anointing of the sick pa. Anointing of the sick yun, pa. Yun, oh. Administering diba? of sacraments. Instead nga, of being in the street, why don't you anoint somebody in the neighborhood that's about to die? Kasi really? may nagsabi sa akin na... Or even teach. I know they teach it, right? Yun, that's their apostolate uh, education. Most uh-huh. most Catholic schools, apostolate nila like uh, Ateneo Lasal is education. Um, aside from that, they should... Uh, part part of the part of that uh, that uh, advocacy or that uh, what do you call this um, mandate. Huh? mandate mandate then, uh, mandate what you, it's not a mandate they're not politicians oh, an, an, apostolate apostolate you know, part of their apostolate is really pipi di sila some uh-uh. prefer um, education mm-hmm. some prefer um, o- other other ways of mm-hmm. uh, Fulfilling their duties. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, most in the Philippines, education. Yes. Yung mga religious. Uh, in the process, yung objective niyan is to make their students better Christians. Okay. So kung hindi na achieve yun, ano nangyari? So they fail in the they fail in the very basic uh, uh, ultimate objective, which is to bring bring them closer to Christ. Okay. It's Catholic school, and then uh, we teach you religion, how to become a good Christian, and then, um, kung di mangyari yun, ano sa tingin mo, uh, Lou? Lou? Okay, okay. Uh, I think that uh, some children are so, uh, sorry, every time that um, the clergy or the people who are in the, in, in the cloth, how do you call that? The clergy. The clergy, right? Because um, I, w- I, I was um, in the schools which was ruled by nuns and priests, right? And which, which, which one? Samson. Samson, St. Paul's, <laughs> Rishana before. So many schools, no? UP lang ako naging free. <laughs> free bird. <laughs> okay, anyways, what I'm trying to say is once it's being uh, rammed down your throat, you don't want to listen to it, definitely. I know some people in Assumption who has taken it to a higher level and talagang they've lived the life of uh, simplicity kasi yun ang calling ng mga Assumptionista to be simple, honestly. And, um, it does not reflect, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just no, that's, that's when they go home. That's when honest. they go home. Yeah. It's, not, uh, ano, it's not validated by the family. The ostentatiousness does not, um, you know. Anyways, so pagka it's being rammed down your throat, mahirap tanggapin na magiging buhay mo yan. Sometimes mag-rebel ka yun, say, ayoko niyan. Gusto kong malaman kung ano talaga yung, ko, yung calling ko to, for, not, not in to serve in, in the faith or something, but, you know, so people don't follow it. Some people don't follow it, some people follow it. Now, for those who are not given the privilege to be um, uh, educated in the faith, yung mga public schools, Tell me, mas marami na sa public schools, Carlo. I turn back the question back to you. So, sino ang amis dito? Lalo dapat, lalo dapat yung mga priest and bishop should should create more more activities to to in the communities form, to form the 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 flock. Okay. Like Kasi, Sunday school. Um, ato, ah, may nagsabi sa akin. Mm. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of the statistics, pero Less than 10% of Catholics go to church. Less than 10. Less than 10% of the Filipino Catholic... If you do the math, it's correct eh. Okay. Kasi paano magkakasa lahat yun? Okay, diba? tell me. So out of the 10%, estimate ko, wala pang kalahati nun uh, who, who listens and practices the faith seriously. They just go to mass as a matter of... Uh, uh, Obligation. Uh, hindi lang, yung para family affair, Okay. Uh, gising tayo, simba tayo, tapos Uh-oh. kain Kasi it's a Sunday. Parang, parang traditional. Okay, again ha, Carla, I'll tell you. Uh, my, my mom is a very devout Catholic. Uh, my dad is a, an, an okay Catholic. Uh, nagpapa siya lang inapuong bato, birhin ang mother ko. I, 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 my ex-husband 
almost became a priest, right? So lahat ng Mondays, lahat ng Wednesdays, first Mondays, first Wednesdays, first Fridays, first Saturdays, di ba? Lahat ng novena, di ba? Lahat ng Sundays, talagang ganyan, ratsyada lahat yan. Uh, when I used to be married, and my kids also, talagang sagasa lahat yan. But I, I pride myself that I've been a very, very uh, compliant uh, Christian. Na I do not go to those Christian churches, okay? And uh, I've not gone to church for a long time. Pero masasabi ko, wala akong sinasaktan tao. Wala akong ninanakawan. Hindi ako nagsisinungaling kahit kailan. Yan, maasahan mo talaga. So I'd like to think, no, it, it is in my ano, conviction for myself to be a good person. Good. But I do not go to church. I'm honest to that. Well, only, only God can judge uh, yeah. what Okay. <laughs> Whether you're good or wala pwede, wala pwede magsabi, ah, hindi ka nagsisimba, therefore you're you're a devil. Or lahat ng ginawa mo, wala na 'yon, 'di ba? Uh, hindi naman pwedeng ganoon. <laughs> eh, 'Di ba nga pag hindi ka nangungumpisa, masama ka this once a year, 'di ba? Ano ba 'yan? That's part of the uh, part of the commandments of the church. Okay. You, you should at least go But to confession can once we go, a year. Can we go back to the fact that the Catholic Church is built on free will? 'Di ba? So, okay. 'yun yung pinaka-core ng Which Catholic. part was which part was that taught to me? <laughs> maybe you missed it, pero um, maybe uh, the Catholic Free faith, will. the Catholic okay. faith, uh, contrary to common belief, okay, is the is the freest, is the freest. Even though even though you, you ka na, uh-huh. somebody has to file a complaint for the priest to uh, for the priest to uh-huh. uh, get charged, get expelled. Yeah. or get charged. Sandy. Mm-hmm. We have questions. I think And there are questions. <laughs> now, uh, speaking about what, when I say the CBCP yeah. is uh, it's a collegial body of bishops and priests. Meron silang collegial, meaning sa, dapat, mag, dapat collegial. As a whole. As a whole. Yes. So when they speak, uh, when they speak as CBCP president, They're uh, not speaking in behalf of the Catholic Church. They're not. Because the hierarchy of the Church starts from the Pope, Cardinals, yes. and then the Bishop, yes. and each, each diocese is a yes. structure. Yes. So even the religious, yung mga nuns and brothers, and na hindi secular, uh-huh. they're not part of the structure. Kaya okay. lang, kaya lang. Yung mga nuns of uh, St. Paul's. Bitid, in the Philippines, mas maraming religious na pare. So, kulang yung secular priest, mm-hmm. meaning the the one that don't, doesn't belong to a religious or, religious order. So, okay. they are parang conscripted. They're assigned to be the parish okay. the parish priest. So, they become part of the structure of the diocese. Okay. So, parang org chart. Meron kang presidente. Tapos, ano yun ad hoc committee? Hindi, kasi in, 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 in our in, in, in our, sisters of St. Paul. In our parish, for okay. example. Uh, um, in, <laughs> nagulig ang telephone. Uh, in our parish, Santo Cristo and San Juan, um, it's, yung parish priest namin is Dominican. Okay. He belongs to the Dominican, Dominican order. Order. But not all Dominican, the, the priests in Dominican are part of the structure. Only the parish priest assigned. Okay. Kasi kulang nga na, yung walang, walang secular priest na available. So, okay kulang na simbaan, siya. Kulang simbaan, yun na yun. They're part, they become part of the structure. Kasi, Are they under the Pope? Under the Pope, kasi may parang LGU yung, yung pinaka-local yes, yes. government unit ng, ng church is okay. the diocese, the okay. bishop. Meron siya, meron siya bishop pre. Okay. Under him are priest. Okay. Now, kung kulang yun, pwede siyang kumuha sa Dominican, sa Francisca. Ah, okay. Papaalam niya. Mm-mm. So, that's how it works. Sa yung budget nun saan galing? Ah, hindi ko alam. Ang... Siguro sa parish na. Ganun ba? Yung uh, parish na nag-aalaga sa kanila. What I know... I want to know eh. It, I want to know what, because what influences their, their we, 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 we are still, pronouncements may probably come from who's feeding them. I mean, I, I, okay, I, I, I don't want to sound like a bitch. But <laughs> I just want to figure out, you know, pagkaganyan and then, uh, you know, who's feeding them uh, well the parish right kung kung pa, kung, kung religious Donations. order yon uh-huh. meron silang meron nga silang mga 
apostolate like education. May revenue yon. May revenue yon. So, okay. Okay la sila. Mian for the secular priest not part of the, the religious order. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not part of the, the religious na. order. Mm. Um, oh. uh, they have their own. They they get it from the contributions of the uh, parishioners. Okay. So what I know uh, before a couple of years back, we we were still a net recipient of uh, uh, donations from abroad. When you say net recipient, papasok ang pera from abroad. Diba, we get more money from abroad. Baliktad. We we're supposed to sa other countries na may yaman. Okay. May may ba, may na collect sa mga contributions. Okay. And then yung excess non ibibigay sa other countries. Oh sa ah, sa sa, papal, sa sa papa sa sa taas. Sa taas. Sa, tapos yes. yung mga okay. poor countries na bitin yung budget. Ah. Dun binibigay. Parang ira. Oh, Parang ira. share. Oh. Oh. Pero hindi ko alam yung... Pero technique. federal lang type, napupunta muna sa kanila yung pera. Pag may sobra, yun lang yung nakiat, ganun. Hindi yata pwedeng dumiretso, kailangan mo makiat muna. Ah, akiat muna. Ah, pupunta muna sa national government, tapos bababa, Pero, asira, parang ganun. Uh, what pupunta I sa know, Vatican. Oh, pupunta muna sa Vatican <laughs> bago mag-disburse. What, what, what I know is... Hmm. In, so, 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 wala na tayo narinig. Hindi ko alam kasi kung may freedom of uh, information din sa Catholic Church. Eh. Pero alam ko kay Presidente Digong ina na yan, eh, di ba? <laughs> Seven o'clock na pala. Teka, hindi. Gusto ko lang tapusin to. Tapusin natin to, sorry. Gusto ko lang maitindihan tong ano na ito. Kasi pin- pinagkakaguluhan natin lahat ng kanila mga sinasabi. Pero, alam ko, they're concerned about us. But I, I, I'm also concerned about them. Uh, when they devoted their life to serving as a priest, therefore, kasama, I, I, alam mo yun, yung were their provisions stated in their contract, when they became priests, kung sino magpapakain sa kanila for the rest of their life. Kasi I want to be able to understand. Are they, are, are there, are there um, uh, pronouncements mainly just their, their own to suffice their requirements for the community and themselves? Or is it for the whole community on a bigger scale? Or are they primarily going to get their pronouncements and the lead from the Pope? I want, to, alam mo yun, uh, many the, aspects there. It, it should come from the Pope. Should come from, primarily from yes. the Pope. Same okay. CEO. So he ng, gives the direction. Yes. And they should follow. Okay, and they should all follow. But some are disobedient. Also, Actually, many. Many okay. are disobedient. Okay. Um, so that's a different problem. Okay. So, do nagkakabol bol. So I would like to think na. Uh, we should also be wary of what is being told to us from church and uh, use your common sense and your <laughs> and uh, common sense, especially for the next few days. I heard that uh, they're being um, they're going to be joining some uh, some very ano. <laughs> May tawag sila dun eh. Oh, nga, hindi ko alam eh. <laughs> nga ba yung, uh... Ano pa tawag sa ganun? They have a movement. A movement. Yeah. They have um, they are moving from one direction to another using the <laughs> tamang daan. And, Tama ba? And the youth. And the youth. Oh my gosh. So kay mga magulang uh, sa mga kom- komunidad, in may mga kaibigan kayo na nanilbihan at uh, kasama nating nagdadasal kada linggo, ganyan. Kung may pupuntahan ho kayo na dapat talagang panindigan na nasa luuban ninyo na makakatulong sa buong Pilipinas, you are very free to do so. Pero kung mas maganda sana kung, uh, kung ano man yung mga inyong hinaing, eh, ilatag nyo sa tamang lugar, hindi yung sigaw lang ng sigaw, walang call for action, ganyan. And uh, nasa sa inyo yon, matatalino naman ho kayo, <laughs> inalal nyo yung tamang presidente, uh, na sumasagot sa pangangailangan, ako naman ang maghihingi ng call to action sa inyo, in your better judgment, <laughs> hingiin nyo yung kailangan ninyo. Huwag lang basta dumaing ng walang katuturan. And huwag nyo ilagay sa panganibang inyo mga anak, payuhan nyo na ma- maayos. At gabayan ninyo at mahalin ninyo ang inyong mga anak. Well, in connection with that, kung tal- yes, you really believe uh, that... Uh, the present government's doing well, it's, it's your, it's, walang, walang pakialam ang simbaan sa political belief mo. They, they cannot dictate upon you. 
Oh, they cannot, right? They cannot. Uh, because it's a, it's a worldly, it's a temporal matter. Uh -oh. They can only guide you uh -oh. on the teachings. Yun lang. Pero uh, to, uh, to, to be present during the rallies is, is not a very good... Uh, it leaves a sour taste, bitter taste in my mouth. Because yung demands nga of their vocation is, is not enough. They don't have enough time na nga for that. Eh. Tapos makikirali-rali pa sila. So, parang, hey, you signed up for this. And, 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 hindi mo pa, marami ka pang hindi nagagawa. So, dapat, gawin mo muna yung, yung job description mo. Pag and likewise to the magulang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have a better judgment. And for you, Miss Teacher, tell us <laughs> what will be your parting words. Again, I come back to you. Hindi <laughs> kita kinalimutan, <laughs> Sandy. Ah. <laughs> um, please uh, watch me on Saturday, 6 to 7 p.m. at the Learner Circle right here at the ZME. Ayan. Carlo, I want you back. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be here um, Saturday, yeah. 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, program title is Blogging Ngayon. Okay. It will be a continuation of this, but uh, I will have a guest uh, to be announced. Okay, next Monday, I'll be taking up um, an, uh, um, a topic which uh, will be held on to every Monday. We will be rating the bloggers uh, on uh, content and uh, substance. Tama ba yan? Substance yes. and content. Yun nga, balik yan. na sa... Not all bloggers are, are create created equal. equal. So, uh, <laughs> magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Bukas kay Bong Sun Tai po tayo and uh, Mary Rose Kisostomo sa kada kabarkadaang gobyerno at pribadong sektor. Salamat po. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Hey, oh.